we're back. Didn't I say we were going to be back? And if you didn't believe me, ugh. well, that wasn't supposed to happen. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today is Friday and this is the first Fabric Friday of 2019. So we're back. Didn't I say we were going to be back in the new year? Here we are in January. Let us talk about some fabric. I'm excited. I am so excited. So before we get started, I have decided that instead of having Fabric Friday every Friday, we're going to do it like every couple of Fridays so maybe every three or four weeks I'm gonna come out with a fabric Friday and then hopefully I'll actually have something to show you what I've made from said fabric Friday that makes it a little bit easier for everybody and then that way you're not just like seeing me talk about what I want to make with actually showing you what I'm actually making because like I've made time now for me to actually be able to make everything that I say that I'm gonna make because last year I was just like I want to make this, 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 and this, and then at the same time, real life was happening, and it was just, I was just like, how am I going to get all of this done? This year, I have a plan, kind of. Okay, let's get on with this. But today's fabric is something that I am really, really excited to show you the end product. I'm halfway through the project at the moment so we already know that you're gonna see this one in the future and if you haven't already um, I'm already showing my progress on Instagram stories that's kind of like when I'm making a project that's where I like to kind of show people what I'm making at the moment and then at the end I will show you a video of how I made it or whatever so in this case I thought I'd do a fabric Friday and then I'll be able to show you in a little like outfit of the day type uh, video what I made and like how, how it went so today's fabric is this beautiful beautiful brocade fabric so the shop said it was a brocade but I actually think this might be a jacquard brocades and jacquards are very very similar in how they are produced both of those types of fabric are produced on a loom and they are woven together but with brocades like traditional brocades it's usually only one side that is like beautiful and woven and you've got like raised bits and it kind of like puffs out out a bit um, and the other side is just like cut threads whereas with jacquards they are often double sided so because they'll be using many many colors to make this beautiful fabric if you go onto the inside it will be the same pattern but it will be inverse in like the same colors but like opposite so in order for them to get all the gold outlines on this side they had to kind of go ham on the other side with the gold but what you end up getting is this beautiful double-sided fabric which you can use both sides of so yeah very very excited when I saw this it's really quite like different to what I normally would wear and as soon as I saw it I thought this is definitely a great great fabric for like evening wear or like some sort of like formal type evening going out situation so that's exactly what I plan to make with it so what am I gonna make as soon as I saw this I thought I'm going to make a beautiful suit with this I've already told you how I'm really really into suits at the moment and uh, yeah this fabric just fed the fire basically I, uh, I saw this and I thought this would look really really cool as like a really nice fitted suit I was still trying to decide between like single breasted double breasted blazer but um, I'm gonna go with a single breasted blazer so that's why I'm in the middle of making at the moment I'll show you a few pictures of its uh, progress I'm sure you've already seen me talk about suits when I was talking about my checked fabric which I really really loved um, I actually did make that suit and I will show you a little uh, like an outfit of the day video which is uh, coming up because I want to start making those and actually showing you the things that I'm making but in this case I wanted the trouser portion instead of being like a uh, wide leg I wanted it to be like a cigarette pant I wanted it to be very fitted and so it would look really really good with like a pair of stilettos yeah other than that it's, uh, it's going pretty well. Um, the only thing that I need to do now is kind of find some buttons to match, but I am considering making like self-covered buttons because I only need one for the center and then I'm gonna have three completely decorative buttons on each side here. So I have some like very small, tiny, tiny buttons which I might just put on there just for um, decoration's sake. But um, at the moment, uh, the outside is going to be this dark bit and then the facings that are gonna be the inside, I'm flipping over 
over so that when you open it up you can see the inverse so I think it would work really really well I'm very very excited to get it finished so um, I'm actually going to be finishing the blazer right after this video and then I'm going to head on and go into the trousers which I plan for them to be quite high waisted these days I just don't feel comfortable in anything that's like underneath my belly anything that's high waisted I find really really flattering um, and it also kind of makes you look smaller in the waist because it kind of goes over your hips so a nice high waisted with a nice like sturdy waistband so I'm still trying to decide whether I want to do a front fly zip or a like a secret side zip action um, I'm not sure we'll see how I feel when we actually get to the trousers I might just decide just to put a little side zip and then conceal it with a pocket because every trouser needs pockets I don't care what anyone says they need pockets that is what I'm gonna be making I will talk more about the actual construction and everything once I finish making it and I will make that video so you can see how I made it and uh, I will talk to you about like modifications I made or any extras that I added so yeah very excited I'm actually gonna have quite a bit of stuff left over um, so uh, I'm not really sure what else I can make with this I think maybe I could like make an accessory I think what would look really cool is one of those like flat clutches not that I'd wear them all together but if I was ever going for a look that was like head to toe maybe one of those evening type clutch situations something that I can be like boom I mean business but also let's party you know what I mean <laughs> so that is uh, the inspiration behind what I'm currently making and those are like the progress picks so let's talk about where I got this from how much I got and how much it costs so I actually picked up this fabric from classic textiles this is right next door to a1 fabrics at the very top of Gold Hawk Road when you come out of Gold Hawk Road station you'll be able to see it across the road a1 fabrics classic textiles those are the two places that I normally go to very very first before anything else and yeah so I found this there and it was 650 a meter which I thought was actually pretty good especially for what I was planning on making it for checking out to see if I could find any brocade or jacquard um, type suits and they are retailing at very very ridiculous prices right now because the ones that are available are from like the big designers so knowing that I can get something that is very very similar but also at a fraction of the price made me very very happy I picked up five meters because I knew I was going to be making a jacket and I knew I was going to be making a pair of trousers I didn't know exactly how much I would need but I always prefer to have more fabric than less because the last thing you want is to be like near to the end of a project realize that you need an extra meter and you don't have it and then you go and find it and it's been sold out that's already happened to me with my uh, double breasted blazer that I made with wool crest fabrics and I went to get some more and it was gone so now I buy a little bit extra than I actually need so that I know that I have enough for the project it also means that when I've done this if I decide I want to make a pencil skirt or if I could still squeeze like a little like mini dress type situation I could do that and I could wear the dress with the blazer if I'm still going for the matchy matchy look so either way I'm very very happy this is a double sided fabric so I can make a completely different item of clothing with the inverse side and not even the same so quite happy with what I have picked up here and that is it thank you for watching to the end of the video if you would like to follow along with my progress on how I'm making my stuff be sure to check me out on my Instagram I'll put my details here and below if you enjoyed this video then hit that like button it lets me know that you guys enjoy what I am doing for you send me a comment let me know what you think do you like my suit do you like the print do you have any jacquard or do you have any brocade what do you guys do with it and if you haven't already then subscribe I know you guys are watching out there so you might as well press that button so you can see when I post another video and I will see you guys in the next video